Okay, so got the gravel in. Here's the kind of the uh, finished product. Um, got the heater installed. And uh, there's the old uh, Biorb. Uh, these things are junk. Had nothing but problems with it leaking, seeping. See down here where it's been leaking. And I kept having to put water in it. Just enough to be annoying. So anyway, this thing is, this lab flask is, uh, of course, there's no opening on the bottom. It's completely sealed. It is glass, so you got to be careful. But uh, anyway, here it is all ready to go. Okay, so here now comes the part where we mix up some more uh, seawater. And uh, you got to get yourself one of these hydrometers, excuse me, uh, figure out the specific gravity of, of the, the mixture. And where you want to be for brackish water for these shrimps is about 1.014 to 1.016, right in there. Uh, I think this bracket here is your normal aquarium, saltwater aquarium. We want to be down here, so it's um, just salty enough for them to survive. But uh, they they live in brackish water, actually, not full sea water. Okay, so get one of these little guys off of uh, uh, eBay or the internet. Also, your larger aquarium pet stores that carry a lot of. Uh, uh, salt water stuff will have them and I uh, got quite a few questions in the past about what kind of salt to use to make up your seawater and uh, I, I use this instant ocean uh, again you can pick it up just about in, in any um, larger pet store and distilled water so I will be mixing up uh, some fresh seawater for them in this five gallon bucket and uh, I'm gonna get the shrimp installed and I've got them over here temporarily in this bucket and they're swimming around they're not too happy at the moment um, spent the better part of uh, two hours catching them all with that little net <laughs> so anyway I'm gonna get the seawater mixed up and uh, then I'm going to get it all installed in the uh, new aquarium and I'll continue the video from there. Okay, here's one of the last parts. This is the intake system for my uh, Eheim pump and uh, half inch stainless steel tubing. But what's really important is you have a shirt screen on the bottom. Or uh, fry. So if your fish beers use these, I guess to filter out uh, real small hatchling fish. Uh, so you need one of those. Those are kind of hard to find. I had to order it from China and adapt it to fit this tube. But uh, don't forget that. So I'm going to put that in, and then I'm going to videotape the whole thing running. All right, uh, got the tank all set up. Give a quick rundown of the various components. Um, of course, uh, you saw the 30 liter laboratory glass flask that I bought. And this is it all set up now. Shrimp installed, doing well. Um, one thing, when you set up a new tank, you gotta let it season for a couple of days at least and uh, cycle. Um, make sure you filter all the contaminants out of the water. And uh, I've got a 
Eheim uh, 2032 uh, e Eco pump and filter system set up. That's it right there. <clears throat> Ran it for a few days with a carbon filter. Got get all the uh, chemicals and contaminants out of the water. These shrimp are uh, they're rather delicate. They're just little guys, so it doesn't take much to poison them. So you want to be careful about that. But as you can see, there's uh, some of the green colored um, biorb uh, medium uh, has uh, it was reused from the old tank. So it brought a lot of the bacteria and the algae with it to help establish this new tank. <clears throat> so the water, approximately two thirds uh, is new and about a quarter to a, a third is from the old tank. So you want to reuse some of your old water to bring the helpful uh, bacteria and algae with it. All right, here's the uh, Reef Keeper, um, Digital Aquatics Reef Keeper light version. Um, this is the controller head. Uh, back here is what they call the PC4. So there's four outlets on there and you can see uh, I got them labeled. Um, pump, night light, day light, and then I, I have one uh, slot open that I'm going to probably plug a chiller or a heater in, depending. Um, you don't need all this stuff, but I thought um, it might be uh, a good idea. I'm going to eventually build a cabinet to put all this wiring in. Um, I'm reusing for now the, um, this is the uh, Biorb Smart Light, it's a LED setup. Uh, it's fully programmable for day, night. Um, let's see. Um, over here, here's the, uh, wiring going down. There's eventually going to be a rubber plug in here I've got ordered to seal this off. This is complete, going to be completely sealed eventually. Um, this is the temperature probe for um, the um, reef keeper. Um, I don't know if I showed you that, but on the readout here, it uh, displays the temperature. And you can go up and down through these functions. It took me the better part of a day to figure this thing out. Their instruction booklet is woefully lacking. So, uh, Digital Aquatics, if you're listening, <laughs> do something about your uh, instruction booklet that comes with this thing. Because I'm telling you, it's it's terrible. Had to go online and... and uh, Here's the last thing is these uh, um, inlet and outlet lines for the uh, Eheim filter pump. Uh, this one's the inlet coming in to the tank out from the pump into a diffuser uh, tube that I got here installed. Uh, you can see it's just a, I think it's an inch and a quarter uh, with a bunch of small holes drilled in it to, to baffle the uh, inlet water keep it from buffeting the shrimp <clears throat> next to it is the um, Jaguar uh, Eheim 50 watt heater and up top here is the uh, the uh, take up tube that goes uh, to the pump and that uh, has the little shrimp filter on the end of it. Let's see if I can get a shot of that. Might be kind of hard to see. There it is. I showed you that earlier. Got to have that. Otherwise, uh, 
all your uh, smaller shrimp will be sucked up into the pump. So anyway, there's the setup. I'll probably make another video uh, showing just the tank uh, in further detail. But those are the components, so anybody planning on making one of these might get a few ideas.